What's up everyone? Vu of Envu Films back with another video and today I am going to show you how to install RAM into your laptop. This particular model is a Legion or Lenovo Legion 7i Pro. Comes with uh, i9 13900HX. Uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, DDR5, 5600 megahertz from SK Hynix. And um, it has an NVIDIA RTX 4080 GPU. And I use this laptop primarily for video editing. And when I have multiple things open, Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, Lightroom, what have you, Google, Google Chrome browsers, all of that jazz, uh, it actually, you know, uses over 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, if you're using this laptop for gaming, um, 32 gigabytes of RAM is probably fine. But um, I need more. So I'm upgrading it to 64 gigabytes of RAM. The particular RAM I'm using is um, Kingston Fury, uh, 64 gigabytes, DDR5. 5600 megahertz that I bought directly from Kingston. Couldn't find it anywhere else. Links in the description below if you're looking for RAM of this size and speed. So installing RAM into a laptop is pretty easy. You just flip it over, you take off all the screws, make sure you put them aside to know exactly where the screws go. And you also probably need to buy like some type of screwdriver kit that has small screws that can remove the tiny screws on a laptop. As you can see, I'm not the most organized douchebag on the planet, but I'm organized enough where, you know, there's only two different sizes in this particular laptop. And I just kind of put the side there so I know where they're all gonna go. And you're probably gonna have to use some type of plastic prying tool, tool to get the back um, cover off. As you can see, I'm just working through and uh, just trying to find a little crack to uh, get it open. Eventually, you pop it off and then just got to use a little bit of force, a little bit of tugging, and um, it'll pop off. And these laptops are a lot more sturdy than you think, like the clips. So, you know, using a little force, uh, you don't have to worry about it breaking or something. Um, so if you look at this laptop, you'll see that the memory is covered. And I think this is for, uh, thermal stuff for heat sinking. Um, so, you know, you just kind of easily remove the cover of the RAM and then it will expose the RAM sticks that are currently installed. This laptop has two sticks and you will just simply begin removing them. You do have to first, you know, touch some type of metal that is away from your laptop to get rid of any static electricity, because of course any type of shock will, could damage electronic parts. And as you can see, I just removed the battery, but I did make a mistake of starting to remove the RAM before I removed the battery. And again, these systems aren't as fragile as, you know, they may seem. So I accidentally removed the RAM here before I removed the battery, but it's fine. Um, I removed the battery, I took out that one stick of RAM, and then I just had to remove my second stick of RAM. As you can see, I just pull apart the clips, it pops out, and it pulls right out. You know, those of you who knows how to pull out, good for you. You know, you don't need to walk around with 18 kids. Um, definitely practice pulling out or, of course, you know, covering it up or something. Um, and then now I'm going to just reinsert the RAM, um, the new RAM. This is a 32 gigabyte stick, two 32s equals 64. Those of you who aren't Asian, I just did some math for you. Um, so there, pretty much just take that stick, shove it in the hole, and then clip it in. This time you don't want to pull out because you do want to conceive the laptop with this additional RAM. Um, it's good stuff. 
So one stick is in, and then you put the other stick in. I don't know what the order is. Uh, I watched some other video where they said, like, you should put the top first and then the bottom. I don't know. Um, I don't see why that matters, especially if the battery is unplugged and all that stuff. So once they're in, good to go. Um, that pretty much should be it. Then you just put the cover back on if there is one for your laptop. But of course, remember to, you know, reinstall the battery. You don't want to forget to install the battery and then put everything back together and try to turn on your laptop. It doesn't work. And then you start panicking. So uh, I'm not saying that I've ever done that before or I might have. But uh, yeah. So yeah, put the battery back and then put the case covering back. Make sure when you're putting your case covering back on that you snap every single part of that in its place because I made a mistake before that I thought everything was snapped back and I looked at like one of the sections and I'm like, oh, it's kind of warped just because I didn't like snap every part back. Make sure you go around and snap every clip back from the covering and then you should start screwing them together or screwing it back. And then you should be good to go. That is it. Turn on your computer and it should detect the RAM. Um, if it doesn't detect the RAM, I don't know how to help you there. Uh, it might be the wrong kind or whatever. I would definitely just make sure that you open up the uh, computer, you check your task manager to see that you know you have the amount of RAM that you upgraded it to, and then run some programs and make sure that the computer is utilizing all of that RAM. Hope this video helped. Until next time, lighten up. Hey man, what laptop is that? It's Lenovo Legion 7i Pro. Oh my god, that PC laptop, it rat. If you want to be the bad, if you want to be professional, you need to use MacBook Pro. Bro, I'm not getting an expensive ass MacBook. This laptop is doing everything I need it to do. With the MacBook, you don't need to plug in for power. You can edit on the AirPlay. You could edit in the bathroom. You can edit anywhere you like. Bro, I am not editing on a two hour flight. And I am definitely not editing while I'm trying to push out a massive turd. The MacBook thinner, it lighter, it look much better. Bro, I don't care about your vegan ass laptop. This one looks perfectly fine to me. Let me show you. Okay, let me see.